This is an absolutely beautiful sight that we continue to see Hogwarts Legacy succeed, and time and time again, having boycotts that do absolutely nothing. We saw it with Avatar 2, and now we're seeing it with Hogwarts Legacy. And in reality, these boycotts only continue to booster the success of people and IPs, and this is what happens when you have people trying to force their opinions on others, and telling them what to do, and if they don't do it, they're a terrible human being, and they're labeled as hateful names. And that's the great thing about gamers. No one gives a flying bullshiza when it comes to other people's opinions. And gamers just want to play games that they want and enjoy. But that doesn't fly by with the woke mob as other people's happiness and excitement means nothing to them. And we also have seen mass amounts of virtue signaling when it comes to this game. And it's backfiring tremendously. Even having a Twitch streamer at one point with over 25,000 followers trying to get Hogwarts Legacy off of Twitch. And now we can finally and officially say that this has backfired on that person greatly as now Hogwarts Legacy has a Twitch record for a single player game when it comes to viewership numbers that have hit a high of 1.27 million concurrent viewers. And keep in mind, this isn't release date, folks. This is early access. And I guess now all 1.27 million of those viewers, and let's not forget about the streamers, are now transphobes in these people's eyes. <laughs> Just so hilarious and stupid. <laughs> And when it comes to these types of mobs, they are never satisfied. You can give them an inch, and they want a foot. You can give them a foot, and they want the whole damn globe to bend over to them. To which, now we are seeing big names such as XQC and Asmund Gold calling all this nonsense bullshiza, and to not listen to these people and to continue playing the game if you enjoy it. And that's what's important. Don't follow what other people are forcing upon you or labeling you names for. If you want to do something that you find enjoyment out of, go and do it. And right now, I'm going to play this short clip of uh, XQC and essentially what he has to say about this whole situation. And I'll get back to you after the clip. Do I see it? Do I see it? Okay. You're gonna, people are gonna chat. I ought to give Professor Fig some people breathing. People are gonna hate me for this take him, okay? It's not your take him. People fund, okay? all sorts and types of evil with their daily purchases across the board in in even way worse ways than you could even imagine okay and then you're trying to make everybody feel bad for fucking purchasing a video game bro you need to fucking suck my balls bitch fucking libtard andies what the fuck is this shit <laughs> <laughs> lip tarts and that's the sad truth folks many won't try and bring light to important issues when it comes to corruption but rather we have groups complaining about a game that has nothing to do with jk rowling as she wasn't even a part of the development of hogwarts legacy and ultimately just screwing over the dev team that put love sweat and tears into making this game come to life Yet, these are the same people that won't talk about how terrible cobalt mining is for the environment, as well as the miners' health, or even about the sweatshops that most of today's items are made at. It just shows you that these people's heads are in the wrong place, and they are just trying to complain about the smallest things possible. If you don't like J.K. Rowling, then don't buy the game. It's that simple. But don't force other people to do the same as you. And now we're also seeing Asmund Gold within a stream essentially telling streamers to just block all the haters leaving negative comments about them playing the game. And that is what people need to do. They need to not give attention to this crowd and just act as if they aren't there. It isn't worth the hassle or the time. As with anything that gains attention in this day and age, it ultimately just continues to fuel it even more. And I just can't wait to see day one sales of this game and to just see how much of a backfire it will be on this woke mob who are ultimately never satisfied with anything and continue to want more and more until they're ultimately in control of every single damn thing in this world. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.